Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week we're combining week three and week four of Couch 5K. So I'm gonna show you how I got on in those two weeks. I do just wanna say I did take a break between week three and week four, not because I was struggling with the running, but it was actually because I've really struggled to sleep the past couple of weeks. But now my sleeping patterns come back a bit and I've, I've started running again. Another thing I wanna mention before we get started is motivation at the moment can be really difficult to find. So I've left a couple of links in the description down below of videos that I watch when I need a bit of motivation. So they're just YouTubers that I watch and you might have heard of already, but I've just left a few in the description if you want to go and have a look at them if you need a bit of motivation at the moment. So with regards to week three, I actually really enjoyed it. So I just got back from the first run of week three. Uh, it went really well. It was actually quite a nice, um, a nice pace and a nice mixture this week instead of the same thing um, on repeat. So the first run was 90 seconds followed by a 90 second walk. Then I did th a three minute run followed by a three minute walk and I did that twice. So it wasn't actually too difficult, but um, I guess what they're trying to do here in week three is um, just build on my endurance that little bit more so I'm pushing um, to the three minutes of running now but I'm also um, walking for the three minutes so I've got a little bit of extra recovery time so that felt really nice to do um, a shorter run and then a longer run and then shorter run longer run um, the only thing is obviously it was snowing a little bit so it was actually really cold um, but it was it was still a nice run um, and I'm, I've got back now and I'm gonna actually have a little foot bath because my feet are aching again today. I definitely noticed my fitness sort of kicking in in week three. I didn't feel tired at all doing um, the three minute runs and the 90 second runs because it was quite short intervals. But the hardest thing in week three was the weather. It was very cold and it was very rainy and it's. It, I think it's definitely harder to find motivation when it's that cold because um, it, it's not inviting. It doesn't make you want to come out. But I definitely layered up um, and wore thicker socks especially so the second run I did that week was a really nice run the sun was setting but when I left it was light and when I came back it was dark it was quite a nice run because I ran in our local park and it was quite easy to just run in a circle final run I did that week was um, in minus one temperature and it was on and off snowing in flurries of snow and I actually put a clip in that shows our lake um, like our duck pond had frozen over because it was so cold in the night um, but like I say I just wrapped up put an extra layer on um, and just cracked on. So when it came to week four, I was actually excited to start running again after having the little break in between. I felt really rested and I, f I felt like I needed to take a bit longer um, warming up before I actually headed out on the run because I didn't want to feel achy afterwards. But I actually went to a different location as well. I went to a park that's a little bit further away. It was so nice running there and it was nice to have a change of scenery, at, especially at the moment. Uh, we can all sort of get used to our own area but I definitely recommend if you are wanting to start running or you're going out to meet a friend try and go somewhere a little bit different and just um, t take in your local area because um, it, it was definitely nice running somewhere different and just being in a different place. was actually quite tough to begin with I had to stop a couple of times in this run which I wasn't surprised with because I'd have had the break and sort of lost a bit of momentum but it was it was the five minute run which I've talked about before is where I sort of struggle but I did about four minutes and I thought I could push but I'd rather take a bit of a break now and then try again the second time but the problem was with this park I'm it sort of it goes uphill a bit so I I didn't 
find the best route to be trying to run a bit longer. So I learnt from that and then the next day went for another run but I went on a flatter route and I did a bit better and I didn't stop as much. Um, but it, I definitely felt good running a bit longer um, and I felt like I was building up some endurance which felt really good. And then the final run of that week went really well. It was the best run I'd done so far. And I ran the full 16 minutes without stopping, um, in total that is. And it was, it was so sunny, it was actually warm for the first time in ages. And I wore a t-shirt and didn't wear a jacket. There were loads of people out on the roads and it was just nice, it was a nice atmosphere to run in. I'm looking forward to carrying on, especially now the weather's hopefully getting a bit better. All in all, I'm, I feel like I'm doing well so far. I'm not too worried about having that break in between because I feel like if I didn't take that week, um, I wouldn't have wanted to carry on. But it was, it, like I say, it was more down to my sleeping pattern and I just had a bit of a dip. But now I feel better carrying on and I feel, I feel really proud of myself for running a, the distance that I'm running at the moment but I definitely recommend it it is good especially at the moment like if it's getting lighter and sunnier it's so nice to go out and get some fresh air even if you're not running go out and take a sort of 20 minute walk a day it's so good for you if you've been watching my couch 5k videos so far you might have noticed that my hair looks a bit different from my previous video it's because I did dye my hair um, at home in lockdown and I have actually made a video on it so um, I'll leave a link in the description to that video if you want to see how I did it. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And like I say, have a look at the videos in the description if you need a bit of motivation. Please leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below if you're enjoying my little series so far. Or if you've got any other suggestions of videos you'd like me to do in the future. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you next week.